Revelation chapter 18. And after these things I saw an angel descending from heaven, having great authority. And the earth was illuminated with his glory. And he cried out mightily with a loud voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and has become a habitation of demons, and a prison of every unclean spirit, and a prison of every unclean and hated bird. Because all nations have drunk of the wine of the fury of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth have become rich through the power of her luxury. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, so that you do not take part in her sins, and that you do not receive of her plagues. For her sins have reached as far as heaven, and God has remembered her iniquities. Render to her as she has rendered to you, and give to her double, even according to her works. In the cup that she mixed, give her back double. To the degree that she glorified herself and lived luxuriously, give to her as much torment and sorrow. For she says in her heart, I sit a queen enthroned and am not a widow, and in no way shall I experience sorrow. For this very reason, her plague shall come in one day, death and sorrow and famine, and she shall be burned with fire. For the Lord God who executes judgment upon her is powerful. Then the kings of the earth who have committed fornication with her and have lived luxuriously will weep and lament for her when they see the smoke of her burning. They will stand far off for fear of her torment, saying, Whoa, whoa, the great city Babylon, the mighty city, for in one hour your judgment has come. And the merchants of the earth will weep and mourn over her, because no one will buy their merchandise anymore. The merchandise of gold and silver and precious stones, and pearls, and fine linen, and purple, and silk, and scarlet, and all fine wood, and every article of ivory, and every article of rare wood, and brass, and iron, and marble, and cinnamon, and incense, and ointment, and frankincense, and wine, and oil, and fine flour, and wheat, and cattle, and sheep, and horses, and chariots, and slaves, and the souls of men. For the ripe fruits that your soul desires will depart from you, and all the rich things and the bright things will depart from you, and you will not find them any more. The merchants of these things who were made rich by her will stand far off because of the fear of her torment, weeping and mourning and saying, Whoa, whoa, the great city which was clothed with fine linen and purple and scarlet and adorned with gold and precious stones and pearls. For in one hour such great wealth has been destroyed and every shipmaster and all traveling in ships and sailors and as many as trade by sea will stand far off. And they will cry out as they watch the smoke of her burning saying, what city is like this great city? And they will throw dust on their heads and cry out weeping and mourning saying, whoa, whoa, the great city by which all who had ships in the sea were made wealthy through the abundance of her costly things. For in one hour she has been destroyed.
Rejoice over her, O heaven, and you holy apostles and prophets, for God has executed judgment upon her for your sakes. Then one strong angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, in this same way shall the great city Babylon be thrown down with violence and shall never again be found. And never again shall the sound of harpers and musicians and flute players and trumpeters be heard in you. And never again shall any craftsman of any craft be found in you. And never again shall the sound of a millstone be heard in you, and never again shall the light of a lamp shine in you, and never again shall the voices of bridegroom and bride be heard in you, for your merchants were the great ones of the earth, and by your sorcery all nations were deceived. And in her the blood of prophets and saints was found, and the blood of all those who were slain on the earth.